Chapter 5 The Champion Who Saved Grimoire for a while, now that we've gotten rid of the soldier controlling them. Once mirages are scattered and separated from their keeper, they revert to their wild state. And wild mirages are something you just learn to get used to in Grimoire. That's why you've got Mr. Warrior here. Yes, indeed. However, we cannot rule out the possibility of another Bahamut attack. What we need is an alliance with another country. Some sort of mutual agreement to come to each other's defense. Actually, Word has been spreading of such an organization. An anti-federation group as large as a nation. Perhaps the time has come to formally introduce ourselves. They call themselves the League of S. League of S. Do you know of any way to reach them? The Thane of Saronia to the north has been in contact with them. I believe one of the merchants mentioned it. Saronia, yes. They have been resisting federation annexation. Yes. Highness, allow me to journey there and learn what I can about the League of S. Alone? To get to Saronia, you must pass through all manner of places teeming with dangerous mirages, and I... Hey, maybe we could go instead. Yeah, Mr. Warrior here, he and the Brigade should stick around and keep the goblins in line. That's right. Cornelia's legendary champion belongs right here in Cornelia. We're the best fit for this. We've got tons of mirages to collect, and could start just about anywhere. So, you know, it wouldn't be any trouble. What a kind offer. You would really do that? Sure. You're doing us a favor by pointing me and Lon in a new direction. We're glad to help. I thank you. We are in your debt. Here, all Cornelian emissaries are given these letters as proof of their authority. It should help you on your way. Thanks. Well, there's no sense in hanging around. Hmm. So long. Take care. Bye-bye, bye-bye! Your Highness. Okay, then let's get going to the Saronia place. Just hop on the train and take that choo-choo the north. Right, take it. Go on then. Holy amaze! I could stare for days at this place. Looks like we're gonna have to find a way through. If things get the dangerous or you need a break, don't forget that you can use the gates to return to Ninewood Hills and take a time out. this thing it sure looks like a door but does it even go anywhere hello let's check it out w hey uh what where are we now visitors what an unusual surprise. Um, who are you? And where are we? My name is... Huh? It was right there on the tip of my tongue. Use it or lose it, I suppose. Oh, but this is my tea room. So who are you? Will you join me for tea? Uh, well, 
you might say that we're sort of passing through. But I'm Lon, and this is... It's Rain. And my brother and I are from Ninewood Hills. Lon and Rain from Ninewood Hills. <gasps> of course. I had a dream about this. I saw the two of you come here. Today's the day. Huh? Right. I think I might know why you've come here. Shall we get started? Uh, sorry, come again? You know what me and Rain are doing here, even though we don't have the slightest clue? Mm-hmm. Your keepers looking for new mirages. You've come to touch the souls of your friends, their past, present, and future, to step into their shoes and fight when mirages threaten them and they need you most, to sway them towards success. Correct? Uh, I don't know. Whoa, dude. That was a lot of words. Hey, Rain, you follow that? Uh-uh. Nope. I am officially lost. So, whose soul will you touch? Good morning. What now? Whose soul will you touch? I never believed it to be more than a legend. A bedtime story someone concocted to fill the dreams of children. But the warriors of light are real. One lives in me. Shocking, and yet, this part of me has stirred before. <laughs> I must be more tired than I thought. Far too much excitement all at once. Hmm? You won't find her. After all, she likes spending time with her subjects. You were mistaken to search here. Huh? How did we get ourselves dragged into battle? From this room, you can take control of your friends' destinies and redirect the course of their lives by fighting their most crucial battle. So it's like, we're helping them in secret? You can think of it like that. See how you like this.
<sighs> I'm glad that her highness is absent. The last thing I want is for her to be abducted again. Hmm? Again? But when has she ever been taken before? And it's odd. While battling that Federation soldier, it felt as though some divine force was guiding my hand to victory. Oh, yes. I am far, far more tired than I thought. What just happened? When we do that, what does the other person experience? Even time must bend to the whims of fantasy. This place is power. Here, dreams and reality and time all touch. All that was, and all that is, and all that will be. From here you changed history. You don't have to worry. The souls you help are not able to see you. And yet, everything that you accomplish on their behalf becomes something that they accomplish. So if you come here, fight someone's battle for them, and emerge victorious, what they see is the same battle won the same way, but by their own hand. Uh, that is totally confusing, but wow! So we get to help a bunch of people out, and we get to keep all the prismariums we find? There's like no downsides at all! Seems that way, but in a way, there is a downside. With that much power, we could do as much harm as we do good. This room of hers affects the destinies of so many. Which makes her... what, exactly? Is she like Anna Crow? A god? I wouldn't say I'm a god, in the sense you're thinking of. Huh? But if you misuse this power, you might not like the consequences. Consequences? Me and... him? Is it her? Well, our fates have entwined. So now that the two of you have made it to this place, I suppose she'd want me to share a little of this power over time and fantasy. We, uh, won't mess around. I promise. Good. Hello. What now? Hey, what are these Armagem things? Hmm? You found some armor gems? We're not exactly sure what they're for, but we did turn up a few. That's good. They have great value here. You can think of those gems as a kind of token. Token? Yes. In order to touch another soul, or to tamper with time, first, you must offer compensation, hence the armor gems. Tokens you can pay in recompense. Oh, so the more we find, the more stuff we can do here. Hmm, right. But isn't that kind of dodging the question? Okay, they're tokens, but where do they come from? You needn't wonder about every little thing. Huh? The world has some secrets. You're simply better off not knowing. Okay. What's this stuff about invoking champions? With invocation, you can call upon the mediums you've met for help. And then they will fight alongside you in the field of battle. Dude, what? Really? Really. The catch is, you can only invoke their power for a very limited time. Basically, they pop right in and whoosh right back out. Pop. Whoosh. Got it. Hmm. All the same, the fact that we can invoke them at all it sounds pretty useful. Yeah, it'll make collecting mirages way easier. All right, but there are restrictions. First, not all mediums are champions. They must awaken to their true potential before you can invoke them. Furthermore, some champions awaken in stages, and each to their own abilities. You'll need armor gems to awaken them, and you'll want to put some thought into who you're going to invoke, and at what time for that matter. Uh, 
Yeah. And invoking isn't free. You have to bend all kinds of divine rules to pull it off, which means more compensation. And I guess we can't pay in Arma gems? Not the gems. Use those here to awaken champions. To invoke, you'll have to store up a different kind of tender. Why don't you think of it as a kind of gauge? When you have enough champion points, you can invoke them. Oh, that's super easy to understand. But simply, the gauge fills when you're hurt and when you defeat mirages. Um, right, okay. Fighting. Correct. Hmm. Oh, I won't overthink it. Oh, one thing. Many champions can be found across Grimoire, but you will only be able to call upon three of them at any given time. Think carefully about the situation. But why? It takes a lot of connecting the dots to make sure they can reach you. Unfortunately, three is the most that I can handle. But if you're willing to offer up your souls as additional portals, then I could arrange something. I... I'm pretty sure there's no way that can be good, so we'll pass. We got this. I guess we're doing this.
righty, let's go. Come on, bring it. Well, that ought that to do wasn't it. wasn't so bad. supposed to get past these vines what's the symbol that's one of inna crow's the patented sizzle symbols she got it patented that's your cue to the brain along the mirage that's learned the sizzle ability and if you don't have a mirage with the sizzle ability just yet you're sure to find one close to by so keep looking
Grimoire sure has no shortage of wonders, does it? I know. How high up are we? I wonder what would happen if we jumped. Hey, why don't you find out? Go on, we're the waiting. Uh. Okay, here we go. I won't hold back. Take this! Uh... Uh... I'll pass.
talking about it only makes it worse. But you do have a point. I guess this is wearing me down. Oh, wouldn't it be great if the mirages in our stacks could just carry us around? Oh, come on. It's not that simple. You can the hitch a ride on your mirages, as long as they've learned the joyride ability. We can? Dude, yes! <laughs> <laughs>